We're kind of in dramatic lighting, aren't we? Yeah. Say we were floating in space. Ready, go. Here we are at Mustang oh, Medic. You just set the floater on like this and just act like we're floating. Like yeah, okay. All right, we're back. Uh, we're, talk we're in serious business about 66 Mustangs. Here we go. Surface rust? Really? Brian's 1966 Mustang Convertible 289C4. Here we go. Here it is. Exciting video of Bobby putting antifreeze into your radiator. It doesn't get it doesn't get much better than that. We're gonna do a 50-50 mix on her. Uh, we dig it a 180 thermostat because this car will end up in Canada. Hey. Eventually. Hey. Um, there's Bobby's Canadian joke. Hope you guys all appreciated that. I love Canadian I, As well I. Um, again, we need, a, we need to get a uh, overflow. And we are about to do uh, pre-oiling of this 289. So we've got a old distributor in there. We've taken the gear out of the cam gear out, so the cam's not getting turned because we would never be able to turn it. Oh, we got a leak. Whoa. Why is there no pipe plug in there? What is, what is, what is it? No pipe plug in the side. No what plug? No core plug. No pipe plug. All right, so we're getting into final stages, and look at this wiring. This is not good. No bueno. That, your wiring is all just fractured Brian on your car this is extra work my friend and it's crossing over it's crossing over so what are we gonna do I'm gonna take it back to here and just reroute them because I have to use these wires one of these is the oil pressure sending unit wire and the other one's the original coil positive and negative and they have to go to the MSD box to trigger the MSD so I gotta go back find it and splice into the MSD harness alright so now we're getting into wiring on this this is the kind of stuff you run into that you can't prep for. It starts happening as you go. This is why I don't like working under deadlines there. I said it on video again, Brian. I said it again. What? Wait, what is back there? What is those two line holes back there in the firewall? What the heck are those doing there? I'm going to crawl underneath the loop. Was this originally an AC car ever? I, want, I guess the AC line went through there. Had to be. That looks like AC holes to me. Interesting. All right. Intriguing. Interesting. Oh, yes. interesting. Interesting. All right, so we're into wiring, having fun with wiring Brian on your baby. I don't know about the fun part. I, know, I'm, I was being sarcastic. I know. I thought, I, I thought everybody would get that I was being sarcastic. I get honest sometimes. Where, where, what did you say? <laughs> I said I get honest sometimes. You get what? Honest sometimes. You get honest sometimes? Well, all the time. But, you Opposed know. to not honest? Well, you know, I'm always honest. <laughs> now you put me on the spot. No joke. I should edit that out. All right. Um, there's your blue lines hooked up for your heater core. We had a little spill on aisle five because we were missing a drain plug block. Bobby ordered it. It's on the way. And uh, we we're ready for pre-oiling because we are our goal is the first start this car tomorrow. Are you in tomorrow? Yeah. All right, we're, first, uh, we're planning on the first start in this car. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll be tomorrow here. Tomorrow afternoon, here we go. Exactly. All right, so what we're doing is Bobby and I are pre-oiling. Well, Bobby's pre-oiling, and, and I'm videoing it. Well, not videotaping. That makes me sound like a 90. Point taken. Right here. How did I record Jeopardy? Is that Super 8? Don't um, forget Matlock. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> or the, the Bionic Man, Murder or she wrote. Wonder Woman. Murder she wrote. Oh, there you go. We're dating ourselves now. Gilgan's Island. All right. I'm dating myself. I am. I always score when I date myself. That's a whole different <laughs> subject. So, I guess I've turned into that guy, that corporate guy that does nothing but estimating and videoing and. You're becoming a nerd. Thanks, Bobby. That's a good nerd, though. Enough about me. 
we're going to pre-oil a 289 for Brian's car. This is the way you do it. The, think about it, guys. Think. When you do the firing order, the Ford springs go counterclockwise. Why? Because Fords are better than Chevys. Now, it goes, it goes easy there. They're both them. Okay, he, 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 he races a 350, all right? A, a, a Chevy 3, Camaro 350. Thanks. They said it. There, it's out. Um, so what we're doing is we, it, it rotates counterclockwise. So you take the gear off of the old distributor that connects to the camshaft because there ain't no way you're going to spin that with a drill. So all we're going to do now is use, he's got a brand new oil pump in. The oil's been put in. The additive's been put in, correct? Yes. And... We are going to pre-oil right now, prepping for tomorrow's first start. What it does is, as he spins this, it's pumping all the oil to the top of the valves, and then it's trickling down. We'll Let's probably, the push are we going to pre-oil again tomorrow before we start? Nope. We're, We're not? Fine. This is pre pre-oiling? Once it's oiled, it's oiled. It's fine. All right, so here we go, demonstrating how to pre-oil your car um, when you're about to do a first start. Exciting times over here at Mustang Medic. Take the frustration out of restoration. So you say it only has surface rust? Really?